Hello, welcome to this video about the Loop Deck Plus. The premise of this video is to show you what you can expect as a new beginner coming to the Loop Deck Plus. I have been using the Loop Deck Plus for three plus months now. What I'm about to show you in this video was evident after only one week's use. There are basically two modes on the Loop Deck Plus. One is the standard mode, and the second is the custom mode. I have yet to delve into any of the features of the custom mode, so what I'll be showing you in this video is in the standard mode. The Loop Deck Plus is very user friendly and has a very short learning curve. Any issues that I've had with the Loop Deck Plus, I will be addressing in the pros and cons section in the summary of this video. Also, in the very near future, I will be learning the custom mode of this console, and I will make a follow-up video showing you those features that are in the custom mode. So if you're interested in that, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button so you know when I make that video. But for this video, I'm just gonna give you a rundown of all the buttons on the Loop Deck Plus and show you how easy they are to use. Starting off in the upper left corner, we have the undo and redo button. There are some small issues regarding these two buttons, but hopefully Loop Deck will be able to fix these in a software update. Next, we have three custom buttons, L1, L2, and L3. These can be programmed to do whatever you wish. Next, we have the ratings button and color button. By hitting this, you can choose between rating, one, two, three, four, five, or color, as you can see on these buttons here, red, yellow, green, blue, and purple. At the bottom left corner, we have the copy and paste buttons. That's self-evident. These work very well and really make your workflow a lot faster. Here we have another function button. Then we have two more custom buttons, which can be programmed to do whatever you wish. Back at the top, we have custom mode. This is a mode that I have not yet delved into. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see me learn the custom mode. That will be coming up in a subsequent video. Then we have a button that says color or black and white. Underneath, we have the control dial. This is used to crop your photo. It also can be pushed down, as can all of these buttons. Then we have our first customizable dial, D1. Here, we have hue, saturation, and luminance. These are related to the color buttons. In the middle of the console, from top to bottom, we have the color sliders. These are little wheels, each addressed to a color, which on the side can be used to edit either hue, saturation, or luminance. This is very easy to change just by a push of a button. In the middle of the console down low, we have another set of dials. Contrast, clarity, exposure, shadows, highlights, blacks, whites, and a custom D2. Also, we have custom buttons here, C3 and C4. And D1 is also a custom button. Rounding out the console, we have this set of buttons on the right side, before and after. Screen mode, which allows you to go full screen, even while editing. The very satisfying export button. A dial to adjust your temperature. A dial to adjust the tint. A dial to adjust the vibrance. A dial to adjust the saturation. And here we have two custom buttons, C5 and C6. Then we have the directional buttons, left and right, up and down. Now it's time for the pros and cons section of the video. I'm gonna start with the cons, and then we go to the pros at the end. The first con of the Loop Deck Plus is the undo and redo button. There is an issue if you do several fast edits, for example, pasting and or choosing a preset and then adjusting one of the, for example, exposure. When you hit the undo button, Sometimes during these fast edits, it will not undo the very last edit that you did, but a previous one. 
This can be frustrating at times, and I think this is something that Loop Deck will have to address in their software update or in the next version of this console. Another minor issue with the Loop Deck Plus is that it disengages between sessions. Let's say you take a break, go into your browser, look at a couple web pages, and come back. Now, the Loop Deck will be disengaged. To solve this, you just have to open up the Loop Deck software app on your desktop, and it will fix itself. You can then close down the app, and the Loop Deck will be working once again. The main pro of the Loop Deck Plus is the speed and the overall flow to your work. You will edit faster, easier, and more intuitively, and you'll be doing far less fumbling and just having a lot more fun. This cannot be overstated. This is the major advantage of the Loop Deck Plus. There's actually only one pro of using the Loop Deck Plus, and that is that it vastly improves your workflow, your overall enjoyment, and just speed. You'll get the job done, and you'll have a lot more fun. It has many, many features and many, many buttons. <laughs>